Hive Active Heating Installation Combination Boiler. Please note, Hive Active Heating should only ever be installed by a qualified engineer. Within this video we'll look at identification of system, installation, setup and demonstration. Hive Active Heating Installation Identifying the System Type To identify a combination boiler, there will be no hot water tank, the heating and hot water is heated from the combination boiler, and controls will look after heating only. Hive Active Heating Installation What do you need? You will require one Nano 2 hub. This plugs into the broadband router and connects all your Hive products. If you are completing the installation using a Hub360, please refer to the Hub360 installation video. You will require the single channel receiver. This is wired into your heating system and connects to your Nano2 hub. Finally, you will require the Hive2 thermostat. This is beautifully designed and is so simple and easy to use. Hive Active Heating Installation Installing the hub. Connect your Nano2 hub into the broadband router. Plug it into a PowerPoint and turn on. When your Nano2 hub is showing a green flashing light, this means your hub is powering up and downloading the latest firmware. When your Nano2 hub shows solid green with an amber flashing light, your hub is ready to go and is automatically entered pairing mode. Hive Active Heating Installation Wiring Part 1 Please ensure you always safely isolate before starting work on any system. Safely remove the boiler cover. Locate the terminals used for external controls. A top tip here, use the boiler's installation booklet to help locate these terminals. Now remove the existing external controls. A top tip, if external controls aren't installed, you may need to remove a pre-installed link. Now you have safely removed the cable from the boiler, please remove the redundant thermostat. Once removed, you will be left with the cable, which is now also redundant. Please make safe and either remove or place safely in the wall cavity. Hive Active Heating Installation Wiring Part 2 Now it's time to install your new 5 core cable and connect live, neutral and earth and heating 1 and heating 2 connections. Once you have removed all existing external controls and installed your new cable which leads to your hive receiver Please safely replace the boiler cover. A top tip for you, please ensure all screws are accounted for. Using your newly installed cable, please mount your hive receiver backplate. Next it's time to wire it up. The connections will be neutral, live and then terminals 1 and 3. A top tip for you here. Use the Hive installation guide for wiring help. Hive Active Heating Installation Pairing Devices Once all connections have been made and all is safe, please power up your receiver. 
Your Nano 2 hub will be flashing amber. Your receiver will double flash amber. Once paired with your hub, your receiver will begin to single flash amber. Your hub and receiver are paired. You can now add the batteries to your Hive 2 thermostat. Once paired, your receiver light will turn green, showing all three devices are now connected. Now you've installed Hive, let's take a look at how we use the thermostat. To begin using the thermostat, press any button or turn the dial to begin interacting. Within the menu, you can find Manual Mode, Schedule, Holiday and Settings. The Heating Boost button can be found on the top of the Hive 2 thermostat. Here you can boost your heating from anything from 30 minutes to 6 hours. Now you're fully connected, let's take a look at how we use the Hive app. First, you need to download the Hive app. Once downloaded, log in using your pre-registered details. Now you need to register your hub. Press Hive Hub for a Nano 2 and Hub 360 if you have installed using a Hub 360. Ensure your hub is correctly placed. Enter your hub ID. This can be found on the bottom of your hub. You are now ready to start using Hive through your Hive app. To use Hive Active Heating in manual mode, simply move your target temperature above your room temperature and your heating will come on. To turn your heating off, just scroll your target temperature back down again below your room temperature. You can also boost your heating. Simply set your target temperature and then adjust the time from 30 minutes to 6 hours. To schedule your heating, simply set to schedule mode and then adjust your time slots. Adjust your start time, end time, target temperature And when happy with that day's schedule, you can simply copy it to the rest of the week. To access your settings, simply scroll to the right on the bottom of the screen. Geolocation is a feature you can turn on or off. You can set it to remind you that you've left your heating on when leaving a desired area, or remind you to turn your heating on when returning home. By activating holiday mode, your heating will turn off when you go on holiday and then come on at a set time so you return to a nice warm home. Also within your settings is device information and you can even rename your device. If we turn the heating on, when you return to your dashboard, you can clearly see that your heating is on. This is indicated by the small orange semicircle. Come back to a nice warm house without ever having to heat an empty one. Hive Active Heating lets you control your heating from your smartphone wherever you are.